Welcome back for Wacky Wednesday! This week it's Plop Plop Fizz Fizz and I have both of my helpers here today. We've got Iris and Axel and uh, we've got some fun household supplies that you might even have at home so this is a good one to try at home and uh, this one was actually sent to me by quite a few of my friends in the last week so I figured we had to try it. Uh, so we've got two of my favorite types of glasses here and you can use any type of clear glass. You want it to be clear so you can see it. I've got uh, water and we've got oil. And then we have food coloring. Axel has chosen blue. Iris has chosen pink. Woo! And then we dark have pink. dark pink. So these are Alka-Seltzer tabs. Um, I got the off brand. They are used for when you have a upset tummy. And you typically will put one or two of the tabs in water and you let it fizz up and then you drink it and it helps make your tummy feel better. So we're going to use these things today. So what I'm going to have you guys do first is take your glass of water and carefully pour it into your cup. There you go. Yep. Better hold it. Yep. Good idea. Go ahead and dump it in there. I... Yep. Good job. Yeah, these glasses. All right, here, I'll take those. Yeah, these are my special science glasses. You can use measuring cups, it doesn't matter. Um, I just figured since I had brought these home from school, I might as well use them. Not yet, put that down. Now you're gonna pour in your oil very carefully. Yep. Yep. It's clumping. <laughs> Ew. Oh, you can see it's half water. That's so cool. Okay, yeah, check that out. Does the water and the oil mix up? Yes. It does, look, it does not. It look. has a layer of oil and a layer of water. Water. <laughs> looks, well, looks like soda mixed together. Um, so Axel, do you know why the oil and the water do not mix up? Um, I think these bubbles are cool. It's kind of... To me, it's like um, it's like one glass. It's like there's a little mini like ceiling right here and the thing right here. It's kind of like that, but I'm pretty sure no, the thank you. I'm pretty okay. sure the bubbles are. Okay. What um? What are some? <coughs> bless you. What are some other things that float on water? Ice. Okay. Um, and then bubbles. Can you think of anything that floats on water? Maybe things that you like to take to the beach. Floaties! Floaties! Yeah. These are like floaties. All right, so if you look at this water. In beach balls. In beach balls, yeah. The water is on the bottom and the oil is on the top because the oil is lighter than the water. It has to do with what we call in science density. So what I want you guys to do now is take your food coloring. I want you to make a prediction. We're going to put 10 drops in our cups. Wait, 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 wait. What do you think the food coloring is going to do? Do you think it's going to go on top of the oil, in the middle, or at the bottom? Bottom. Bottom. Think so? Well, 10 drops and put them all around one at a time. Oh, we got to take your cap off, babe. Yeah. Axel, you got to take the cap off. Oh. All right. Squeeze slowly. 10 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, mm, nine, ten. All right, good job. Six, seven. I had the little balls now. What a great observation! Oh, they my are. words! What? It's like it's like rocks sinking on floating. So where are they? Are oh! they? Oh! <laughs> What's going on? Making pink. <laughs> All right. Now, that might have been cool, but it's not the coolest part yet. Can we <gasps> mix colors? Nope, we're not going to mix colors, but that would be a fun thing to try next time. All right, so I'm going to give you a tab. Hold on, don't do anything with it yet. And I'm going to give Axel a tab. And on the count of three, you're going to drop it in. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> oh! Oh! What's happening? Well, it's just a dark purple. Oh, oh look at it. It's like boom, boom, touching the oil. Well, we can watch them both. It's like a blob and it's like It's like a yucky, yucky drink. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to drink this. That'd be yucky. Yes. Iris, what do you think's happening? Why do you think it's fizzing and bubbling? A cut between and bubbles. 
Yeah. It's like a geyser. I can hear it. <gasps> you can hear it? All right, everybody be quiet. Let's see if we can hear it. Fizz, 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 fizz. Can you hear it, Sissy? Yeah. All right, what do you notice now? Is it still going as strong as it was? Yeah. No. no. Yes. Do you think if we put another tab in there, it would do the same thing? Yes. yes. Let's try. Let's get the uh, Alka-Seltzer tabs. We have lots of these, and we've been lucky. We don't have any upset tummies. Can I do it first? Well, you're going to do it at the same time. All right, second tabs. There's one and two. Whoa. It is working. That's so cool. Bubbling, 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 bubbling. It's like lava. It's fizzing. We saw that. We said it looks like a geyser. It looks like lava. It looks like pop. It looks like a lava lamp. So the tab sunk all the way to the bottom because it's heavier than the oil and the water. So when it's on the bottom and it gets in the water, this Alka-Seltzer stuff is so cool that it starts to have what's called a chemical reaction with the water. And so when it reacts with the water, it starts to bubble fizz fizz, bubble fizz fizz, just like we can see and we can hear it. And we know it's a chemical reaction because of the bubbling and the fizzing. Isn't that cool? We just thought it was a neat looking thing, but there's a lot of cool science behind it. All right, what do you guys think? I think um, it's bubbling because we try to seal and the bubbles are not bubbling as before. And now it is because we put two of them in. Yeah, we did put two tabs in. Well, that's it for this week. If you like our science videos, give us a thumbs up.